In the previous video for edge detection, I received a comment that said, is it possible to label the x axis and y axis of an image? So to answer this comment, in this video, I will talk about some tricks for MATLAB plots. Also, I will cover tricks for plotting at different dimensions. So first thing I would like to do is to answer the question. The answer, of course, is yes. So in our code for plotting, all we need to do is to show the axis on and after im show add a hold on so we can plot the exact coordinate on the image we want to plot and the x and y axis will also show in our plotting so let's run this section so you can see in this original image there's a red call sign and if you know the exact coordinate you want to plot, then all you need to do is change these coordinate values. And you can change the marker size and line width of the marker in your plots. And to add labels for x and y coordinate, after plots this point on your image, you just need to put your mouse on this sign you already plotted and click it then this x and y coordinate will be shown on your graph and this this table will keep on your image so now let's begin with the plotting of 2d line function for the text version of tutorial please google 2d line plot MATLAB. they offer a very nice description on their website and in this video i will um, briefly introduce how to plot 2D lines. The first thing we want before plotting is to make a function of x and y. So let's begin with defining x. So because we already plot image in the section above, so don't forget to add a hold of before plot. So let's draw this section and this is the image we plotted and different than the image plot we as long as there's a line in your plot you can just click and add labels in anywhere you want you can find the x and y values that corresponding to the line you plotted so in case you don't know the value of x means x start from 0 and ends at 2 multiply pi and the step of x to increase is pi divide 100 and the co corresponding y coordinate will also be plotted with the plotting command so suppose we want to add something to the plotted graph like what i mentioned above we just need to add a hold on command and then we define a new line let's say y1 equal to 2x and let's plot the new now to multiply x and run this new section and you can see there's a new red line plotted over here and the domain of x changed because the new line can reach y equal to 12 but the previous line the biggest value of y is just one if you don't want to put two lines separately there's another method you can use so let's hold off first because we want to put in a new figure and then plot x y this is our first function and x y1 which is our second function and run the second second section you can see our label disappear because this is a new figure and two lines plotted as we want also the plotting command can plot a metric 
So let's define a new matrix. Let's say m equal to matrix 4. So we get a two, uh, 4 by 4 matrix. And let's put m and see what we got. And on this section, you can see there's four lines in our figure. And to understand these four lines, the best way is to see the value inside m. And you can see here the m looks like this. And the blue line here is actually the first column of our matrix. And there is a red line as the second column. This yellow line here is our third column and the purple line here is our fourth column. So to plot matrix, MATLAB will plot it column by column and link those points of each column together in, in our figure. So there is four lines in the plotting image. So what about you want to see lines but dots? It's also very easy. All we need is to add this marker on the port part and let's run this section and see what happens. You can see there is only round dots on our figures and lines disappeared, but they still keep the same colors for same columns. So you can figure out which one is in the same columns. But what if we want to see both dots and lines? So we add a dash before this small O and run the section. And you can see now this round dot is added in the plotting figure. So now we know about 2D line plots. So how about 3D line? There is actually a built-in command that, that could do 3D line plots that is called plot3. So this command usually takes at least three arguments as input, like what plot tag is x and y, and 3D line plots will take x, y, and z. So by using the plot 3, you can either plot 3D lines or 3D cloud points. Again, let's start with a basic example. So let me define the first argument called t. And st is the sine of t. Ct means the cosine of t. Now let's see what will happen when we use plot 3 for these three arguments. And do st, ct, and t. So let's run the section. And you can see this graph here. You can even rotate your plotted image and see it from different angles by click this rotate 3D button. And so what we just plotted is 3D lines. What if we want to build a 3D cloud point like what we did in the plot command? In here, we use the same trick. We put the markers like this small all here. Actually, there's um, a lot of different markers you can use, like stars, plus signs. But to make things obvious, I prefer to use this lowercase o. And let's run this section. And now we can rotate and see. This is our cloud point. Looks like a spring. And again, you can also add uh, this small dash means we want to link all these cloud points together. And let's run the section again. And you can see they are linked together like a necklace. So in this video, I talked about the basic plotting skills in MATLAB for 2D and 3D line plots. And next video, I will talk about the content related to plotting of 3D matrix and size of 3D plots and multi-dimensional matrix. Hope this video is helpful.